Hello, I'm Dr. Inman. I'm going to deliver another mini lecture on what we call navicular disease. The navicular bone, essentially an equine, is in fact a bone that is in the a sesamoid that is in the body of the deep digital flexor tendon. It's right here, essentially, in a lateral x-ray. This becomes incredibly punched out and inflamed, essentially, when the animal tries to stand on that condition, and no one seems to know why exactly that occurs, but of course it occurs because of a lack of blood supply and as the body basically tries to reorganize that lack of blood supply as it tears itself apart and reorganizes that inflammation produces pain and it's difficult for the animal to stand. Again we're back to lack of blood supply essentially and if we have lack of blood supply or pain from that area we invariably end up with a neurological interference or a vertebral subluxation complex that occurs in the neck at the lower base of the neck we have in fact reduced clinical symptomology and also allowed the animal to heal by just adjusting them with the adjusting instrument. If you go to the vomtech.com website, we'll show you how we go about doing that. However, more often than not, we need to do more <coughs> excuse me, than just put energy into that area and open up the blood supply to that area. We have to actually uh, enhance the blood supply to that tissue and allow the bone to reorganize. So when we're looking at this tissue, essentially, lack of blood supply in and around this area uh, causes the navicular bone to break down. It actually osteolytically and osteoclastically breaks down and tries to reorganize itself, and that active inflammation produces discomfort and pain, and the animal basically favors that leg. It can make the animal significantly lame. Pain medication can help, but it doesn't fix the problem. It just covers the problem up, essentially. When you look at the radiographs, very commonly radiography, will show that there's actually punched out or lollipop areas that we sometimes see on x-ray if done correctly and in this particular areas if we can look at them correctly on x-ray theoretically can diagnose this condition however a lot of times animals with quote unquote lollipops in areas of punched out areas in the x-rays of the navicular bone do not show do not show laminitis I'm sorry do not show navicular disease and other times, uh, classic navicular animals do not show these lollipop type of punched out areas. So essentially, radiographic evaluation is helpful, but it doesn't really uh, give us a whole lot of information as to uh, what happens. It's just helpful. So when we do have an animal with navicular disease, either developing or chronic, we will go ahead and adjust them as we always do because we want all of the neurological sites opened up. That has a vasodilatative nature to it too. But you're probably not going to be surprised to realize that what we also do is we'll laser essentially the navicular bone, just like we did for laminitis. Laminitis and navicular disease are very similar because compromisation of the blood supply to those tissues break them down, which causes pain, which causes more vasoconstriction, which causes more pain and it propagates itself and it can actually go very quickly. It can actually develop within two to three days, two to three weeks, or a long period of time, several months. It can take months to sometimes a year for us to get this problem under control to where an animal can be used for riding essentially and or performance. But the, the laser therapy is any more 120 seconds. We use the frequencies for pain, 465, 25, 20.5, 20 and 153 for joint. And also we use connective tissue frequencies such as bone, 45, a joint, 153. We use a frequency for cartilage, of course, because that's involved, 454, and also another one for um, uh, lymphatic drainage, which is 230. And those are actually on a list, a uh, master list of frequencies. We have over 2,700 disease conditions that we've mapped out. Laminitis and navicular disease are just two of the 2,700. And you can find them on the website, vomtech.com, and we'll show you how we can access virtually all the aspects of frequency-specific laser therapy and also the VON technology. I would encourage you to go to the site, if you would, and uh, check it out. We show you how to do it, essentially, and why it works, and we go into it quite in depth, and it would be a delight for me to be able to talk with you about this condition, because we would encourage you to apply this technology in your practice as a solution. There are over 4,000 veterinarians in the field right now, and about 5,000 chiropractors I've trained in the last 20 years that are using this technique right now as we speak successfully. Thank you, and have a great day.